when we cut with a gun, notice that I've done taken my tip off. You have a little male plug right there. All you want to do is just come in and take that out. Now we have two different cutters. This right here is what we call our undercutter. This is the one that goes in from the bottom right here. All you have to do is come in, just tighten it up. It might be a little tight at first when you first get your kit right there. Just snug it down, never tighten it down real tight. As we cut real thin sheet metal, what they call the well point or your well barrel, we're putting the number one tip on. That's the one that has one ring around it. The alt tip, which is our smallest tip, is going on the oxygen side. Now if you're used to cutting with a regular torch, you're used to cutting about a quarter of an inch up off the metal. All right, with our particular gun, always make sure that your tips are in line right there. If you need to move them, you can just go in there with your wrench if they get out of the line. And also, as far as the thickness, that wrench right there should be snug as it goes through. That's a, a good filler gauge. The main thing, that oxygen tip right there should stay out of that outer cone right there. Now, when we get ready to cut, you're actually going to be heating with your heating tip. As soon as the metal turns red, pull your trigger and hold it in. But the whole key is to concentrate on the oxygen tip, and the whole key to cutting with our gun is that you must keep that oxygen tip within an eighth of an inch of that metal. If you start pulling that oxygen tip off more than an eighth of an inch up off the metal, you're, going, you're not going to get a very nice cut. So the whole key is to concentrate on your oxygen tip once you start cutting, and you must keep that oxygen tip close to the metal. Also, when we cut, we use a neutral flame. If you've got thin metal, a lot of common sense, just a small, thin flame. If you pull your trigger in and you get a feather right there, just, just hold it in and adjust it because you always want a neutral flame even when you pull your trigger. All right, so when we get ready to cut, now you roughly, and it's not critical, approximate, keep that oxygen tip, which is on the bottom, roughly about a 45 inch to the metal right there. That's not critical. You can still lift it this way, but that's actually where you get your best cut. All right, so always try and get two hands and try and get comfortable if you can. Heat your metal. As soon as it turns red, pull the trigger, and notice how close I keep that tip. Concentrate on the oxygen tip, and you must keep that tip real, real close to the metal. I want to come back and cut about halfway because I want to show you just how little we actually take out. All right, it's so on that light gauge metal right there. What I want to show you right here, look just how thin. It's actually less than a hacksaw blade right there. So there's the front side. There's the back side. As long as you keep that tip down close to the metal, you can just about do away with any slag on the back. And that tip where we cut on the outside there is very smooth. A plasma cutter, which is a very nice piece of equipment, but also very expensive, will not give you any nicer cut, and that's just four pounds of oxyacetylene. Now every now and then, this right here is a one eighth inch piece of steel, where well, we have used a one and an alt. That one eighth sometimes is that one right on the line, where well, you might have to use the number one to heat with and the copper tip to cut that one eighth. All right, now say you was gonna come in here and cut a piece of quarter inch plate and still use the undercutter. You would wanna come in and put the number two tip on your well point and put the copper tip on the oxygen. Use your one and alt for light gauge and your two and copper for your heavier plate. Now usually, once I get to about three sixteenths or a quarter inch, I like to go to my other cutter, which we're gonna be showing you right now.